find your name on the list or type it in. Then choose Start. Hmm, which book should we read first? Our books! Now what'll we do? I know. You can help Sam and me. Click on the book you want to read. All right! Jack and the Beanstalk. Click on the character you want to tell the story. Rawr. Thanks for choosing me, Sam the Lion. Let me tell you the story of Jack and the Beanstalk. Rawr. Click here if you want me to read the story. Click here and we can read the story together. Let's read the story together. Here are some of the special words in this story. Axe, beanstalk, coins, giant, gold, harp, hen, magic, treasures, Long ago, the people in Jack's village had three special treasures. They had golden coins. They had a hen that laid golden eggs. They had a golden harp that sang like a bird. Then a giant came and took them all. Jack and his mother lived near the village. They were very poor. Their only food came from their cow. One day, the cow gave no milk. You must sell the cow, said Jack's mother. We need the money for food. <laughs> We have no money for food. On his way to the market, Jack met a farmer. I'll give you these magic beans for that cow, said the farmer. Plant the beans tonight, and in the morning they will touch the sky. I'll take them, said Jack. I have to sell my cow, so we can have money for food. I'll give you these magic beans for that cow. Hmm. Phew. It's a trade. I'll trade my cow for those magic beans. <laughs> Thank you.
Mother, mother, look what I got. Magic beans. Jack showed his mother the beans. What a foolish thing to do, said his mother. We needed food, not magic beans. She threw the beans out the window and sent Jack to bed. We need food, not magic beans. Look! 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 Mother, look! That was a foolish thing to do. We needed food, not magic beans. Now please, go to your room. The next morning, Jack looked out his window. He saw a giant beanstalk. It went up and up and up until it touched the sky. The beans were magic, thought Jack. He jumped on the beanstalk and began to climb. The beans are magic. Trading them wasn't a foolish thing to do at all. Wow. I wonder how tall that beanstalk is. I wonder where it goes. The beans are magic. Trading them wasn't a foolish thing to do at all. Here I go. Wow! Everything's huge! Jack jumped off the beanstalk. He looked around. Everything was huge. A huge road led to a huge castle. I'll go to the castle, thought Jack. Maybe I can get something to eat there. <gasps> Look at those huge flowers! <sighs> wow! There's a huge castle! And these are some huge footprints. Beware! Beware! Jack knocked on the castle door and a huge woman opened it. May I have some breakfast? asked Jack. Go away! The woman said, My husband eats little boys. Jack heard heavy footsteps. He's coming, the woman cried. Hide! Who's there? Hey, I'm down here. What? <coughs> Who's there? May I have some breakfast, please? Go away. My husband eats little boys. <coughs> Who's there? Hey, I'm down here. Who's there? May I have some breakfast, please? Go.
Go away! My husband eats little boys! Uh, hello, ma'am. Go away! My husband eats little boys! He's coming! Quick! Hide! Jack hid, and a giant came into the room. Fee, fi, fo, fum! I smell the blood of an Englishman! He roared. There's no one here but us, said his wife. Why don't you play with your gold toys? She put his golden coins, the hen, and the golden harp on the table. Fee, fi, fo, fum! I smell the blood of an Englishman! There's no one here but us! <coughs> Fee, fi, fo, fum! I smell the blood of an Englishman! Here, play with your gold toys. The giant counted the golden coins. One, two, three, all for me, he said. Lay, he told the hen. The hen laid a golden egg. Sing, he told the golden harp. So the harp sang, and the giant went to sleep. One, two, Three, all for me. Lay. <coughs> Sing. <coughs> I'm tired. Sing me to sleep. That gold was taken from my village. <laughs> that is our gold, thought Jack. That gold was taken from my village. He jumped out of the oven. He took the bags of gold and ran out of the castle. He jumped on the beanstalk and climbed down it as fast as he could. Jack gave the gold to the people of the village. Here are the gold coins the giant took from us. I'm going back up for more. Be careful, said Jack's mother. The next day, Jack climbed the beanstalk again.
That's my boy. Yay! I'm going back up for more. Be careful. Jack knocked on the castle door and the huge woman opened it. May I have some breakfast? asked Jack. I told you it is not safe here, boy. My husband has lost some gold and he is angry. Jack heard heavy footsteps. He's coming, the woman cried. Hide! May I have some breakfast? No, my husband is missing his gold, and he is angry. But... Oh, not again. <sighs> not again. May I please? Not today. He's coming. Quick, hide. <laughs> Jack hid and the giant came into the room. Fee, fi, fo, fum. I smell the blood of an Englishman. He roared. There's no one here but us, said his wife. Hmm, said the giant. Lay, hen. Sing, harp, the giant said. So the harp sang, and the giant went to sleep. Lay, hen. Fee-fi-fo-fum, I smell the blood of an Englishman. There's no one here but us. Sing me to sleep. <sighs> That's our hen. That hen was taken from my village. <sighs> that is our hen, thought Jack. That hen was taken from my village. He picked up the hen. It gave a loud squawk. Jack ran out of the castle, jumped on the beanstalk, and climbed down it as fast as he could. Here's the hen the giant took from us. Yay! 
Jack gave the hen to the people of the village. Here's the hen that the giant took from us. I'm going back up for more. Be careful, said Jack's mother. The next day, Jack climbed the beanstalk again. Yay! Honey, we're so grateful. Yay! This is fun. Yay! I'm going back up for more. Jack knocked on the castle door and the huge woman opened it. May I have some breakfast? asked Jack. I told you it is not safe here, boy. My husband lost his hen, and he is angry. Jack heard heavy footsteps. He's coming, the woman cried. Hide! I'm getting tired of this. May I please have some breakfast? No, my husband is missing his hen, and he is angry. But... May I please... Not today. He's coming. Quick, hide. Jack hid, and the giant came into the room. Fee, fi, fo, fum. I smell the blood of an Englishman. He roared. There's no one here but us, said his wife. Hmm, said the giant. Sing, he told the harp. So the harp sang, and the giant went to sleep. Sing! La, 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 la. Fee-fi fo fum I smell the blood of an Englishman. There's no one here but us. <clears throat> Sing me to sleep. <sighs> That's our harp. That harp was taken from my village. <laughs> That is our harp, thought Jack. That harp was taken from my village. He picked up the harp and it began to sing. The giant woke up. I knew I smelled a boy, he roared, and he ran after Jack. Jack ran to the beanstalk.
Is the giant asleep? I knew I smelled, boy! Jack jumped on the beanstalk and climbed down it as fast as he could. The giant was right behind him. Mother! Mother! Get my axe! Jack cried. Hey. <laughs> hey, giant, over here. <laughs> mother, mother, get my axe. <laughs> Jack jumped off the beanstalk and picked up the axe. Whack! Whack! went the axe. That boy is too smart for me, said the giant. He climbed back up the beanstalk as fast as he could. That giant's not going to get us now. That giant's not going to get us now. If this beanstalk breaks, I'll never see my home again. Oh, that boy is just too smart for me. Yeah! Yeah! Whack! Whack! The beanstalk snapped. That giant will never bother us again, Jack said. I'm so proud of you, said his mother. We all are. Yay! After all these years, we finally got our gold back. Yeah! Hip hip hooray! Jack, I'm so proud of you. Uh, thanks, Mother. But can I have some breakfast? That giant will never bother us again. And I got our gold back, right here where it belongs. The people of the village had a feast. They ate until they could eat no more. They danced to the songs of the golden harp. They gave Jack some gold coins as a reward. Jack and his mother were never hungry again. Yeah! What a celebration! And it's in honor of me! I knew they were magic beans all along.
on one of these buttons to play an activity. Okay, let's match and order things from the story. Time to... Not again! Oh, my story map is a mess! You can help read a rabbit. Click on Story Match to match words and pictures. Click on Story Order to put events in the right order. Okay, let's match words to pictures from the story. Axe, axe. Oven, oven. <coughs> footsteps, footsteps. Treasures, treasures. Beans, beans. Thanks! Now all the words match the pictures, so I can read my story map. Oven. <coughs> Time for a party! Click on me, and you can play the map game again. All right! Count two! Not again! Oh, my story map is a mess! You can help read a rabbit. Okay, let's match words to pictures from the story. Road, road. Ush. Village. Village. Road. A huge road led to a huge castle. Table, table. She put his golden coins, the hen, and the golden harp on the table. Beanstalk, beanstalk. Room, room. Now please, go to your room. Yahoo! Now all the words match the pictures, so I can read my story map. Time for a party! Click on me, and you can play again. Click on one of these buttons to play an activity. All right! I know! Jack and the Beanstalk. Click on the character. fee fi fo fum You picked me, the giant! I'll tell you what really happened when Jack showed up at my house. <laughs> Click here if you want me to read the story. I'll read the story. I am a giant, and I love gold. When I see golden treasures, I take them. Once, I took three treasures from a village. I took golden coins, a hen, that laid golden eggs, and a golden harp that sang. Then, I lost them all. <laughs> I'll tell you how it happened. My trouble started because of a boy named Jack. He lived with his mother near the village. All they had was an old cow. One day, the cow gave no milk. Jack's mother told him to sell the cow. She wanted money for food. But Jack did not do what his mother said. <gasps> we have no money for food. Jack, you must sell the cow. Sell the cow? We need the money for food.
On his way to the market, Jack met a farmer. The farmer said he had magic beans that would grow to touch the sky. I have to sell my cow so we can have money for food. I'll give you these magic beans for that cow. Magic beans? How are they magic? Plant these beans tonight, and in the morning they will touch the sky. The sky? That's where I live. Jack traded his cow for the beans. It's a trade. I'll trade my cow for those magic beans. Mother, mother, look what I got. Magic beans. Jack thought he had made a good trade. His mother did not. We needed food, not magic beans, she said. She threw the beans out the window. Can you guess what happened that night? That was a foolish thing to do. We needed food, not magic beans. Now please, go to your room. The next morning, there was a beanstalk outside. It started near Jack's window. It came up through my clouds. Then, Jack climbed the beanstalk. He came up through my clouds, too. <laughs> Here I go. Wow! Everything's huge! Jack jumped off the beanstalk. I did not hear him. I did not see him. But I remember smelling something. <laughs> Is that a boy? I thought. I can smell a boy from a mile away. I did not hear Jack knock on the castle door. I did not hear my wife open the door. I did not hear Jack ask for breakfast. But I did <laughs> smell something I like for breakfast. I smelled a boy. Mm. I ran to the door. But no one was there. Uh, hello, ma'am. Go away. My husband eats little boys. He's coming. Quick, hide. Fi fo fum I smell the blood of an Englishman, I said loudly. There's no one here but us, said my wife. I really thought I smelled a boy. Fee 
fi fo fum I smell the blood of an Englishman. There's no one here but us. <coughs> my wife told me to play with my gold toys. Here, play with your gold toys. I love to play with gold. I counted my golden coins. One, two, three, all for me. I made the hen lay a golden egg. Lay! I told the golden harp to sing me a song. Sing! <laughs> Music always makes me sleepy. I started to fall asleep. I'm tired. Sing me to sleep. That gold was taken from my village. <laughs> then I thought I heard something. What was that? I was too tired to find out. When I woke up, my golden coins were gone. They were all gone. Later, I found out that Jack had taken my gold. He gave it back to the people in the village. Yay! I'm going back up for more, he said. Why would he do that? Most people are afraid of giants. Jack's mother told him to be careful. The next day, he climbed up here again. I'm going back up for more. Be careful. This time, I thought I heard a knock on the door. I thought... Thought I heard my wife open it. I thought I heard a voice ask for breakfast. May I have some breakfast? No, my husband is missing his gold and he is angry. But. And I knew I smelled something. I ran to the door. But no one was there. May I please? Not today. He's coming. Quick, hide. <laughs> Fee fi fo fum I smell the blood of an Englishman, I said loudly. There's no one here but us.
said my wife. Well, I thought I smelled a boy. Fee-fi-fo-fum. I smell the blood of an Englishman. There's no one here but us. I made my hen lay and my harp sing. Lay, hen! The song made me sleepy. Then I began to fall asleep. Sing me to sleep. <sighs> Hen was taken from my village. <laughs> then I thought I heard something. Was it a squawk? Shh. <laughs> I was too tired. To find out. When I woke up, my hen was gone. My golden eggs were gone too. Here's the hen the giant took from us. Yay! Later I found out that Jack had taken my hen. He gave it back to the people of the village. Yay! I'm going back up for more, he said. Wasn't he afraid? After all, I eat boys. Jack's mother told him to be careful. The next day, he climbed up here again. I'm going back up for more. I thought I heard a knock on the door again. I thought I heard my wife open it. I thought I heard a tiny voice ask for breakfast again. May I please have some breakfast? No. My husband is missing his hen, and he is angry. But... And I knew I smelled a boy. I ran to the door. But no one was there. May I please... Not today. He's coming! Quick! Hide! <laughs> Fee-fi-fo-fum! I smell the blood of an Englishman, I said loudly. My wife said, There's no one here but us. 
How could my nose be wrong so many times? Fee-fi-fo-fum! I smell the blood of an Englishman! There's no one here but us! <laughs> Sing, I told my harp. Sing! La, 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 la. The music made me sleepy. I began to fall asleep. Sing me to sleep. That's our harp. That harp was taken from my village. I was having a nice dream. Then, I heard something. <laughs> My harp had started to sing loudly. I woke up. There was Jack, and he had my harp. I knew I smelled a boy, I said, and I ran after him. <coughs> I knew I smelled boy. Jack jumped on the beanstalk and climbed down fast. I was right behind him. <laughs> mother, mother, get my axe, Jack cried. Why did he want an axe? He was too tiny to fight me. Mother, mother, get my axe! Jack jumped off the beanstalk and picked up the axe. Whack! Whack! went the axe. Oh! I knew that if the beanstalk broke, I would fall a long, long, long way down. That boy was just too smart for me. That giant's not gonna get us now. If this beanstalk breaks, I'll never see my home again. Yeah! Yeah! Whack! Whack! The beanstalk snapped. I had already jumped off it. I was safe, but I was not happy. My treasures were down in the village, and I could never go there again. Fum, fo, fi, fi. Why are they all so mean to me? Yay! After all these years, we finally got our gold back! The people of the village had a feast. 
They danced to the songs of my golden harp. They gave Jack some of my golden coins. Did anyone think about me? I wanted to have a feast, too. But we only had beans. I hate beans. What a celebration, and it's in honor of me. on one of these buttons to play an activity. Okay, let's write a letter. Okay, let's write to the giant. 500 pancakes. Rain. Neighbor, your friend, Speedy Snail here. Got anything to mail? Oh, a letter. This could take a while. Special delivery for Sam from the Giant. Dear Sam, giants make great neighbors. We're as friendly as can be. You can come over anytime to borrow a ton of tea. A ton of tea, a tub of milk, a giant TV screen. The only thing you can't borrow is a magic bean, your friend, the giant. Adio. Castles. Sleep. Snowing. <laughs> Dear giant, sometimes clouds look like castles. I would like to sleep in the clouds. Is it fun to live in the clouds when it is snowing? Rawr. Sam. Dear Sam, yes, I love snowy days in the clouds. What do giants do in the snow? We build giant things. Once I built a giant snowman. Fun! 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 Your friend, the giant! I'll be back a little. Spilled. Picnic. Sunny. Is your friend. Dear Giant, sometimes clouds look like spilled milk. I would like to picnic in the clouds. Is it fun to live in the clouds when it is sunny? Your friend, Sam. Dear Sam, I love the sun. I love it a lot. It shows off everything I've got. Sun makes my gold shimmer and shine. Sun makes me shout. Mine, mine, mine. Your friend, the giant. I'll be back a, a huge rain. 
if I teacher from dear giant if I were a giant I would eat a huge pizza if I were a giant I would drink rain if I were a giant you would be my teacher from Sam Dear Sam, I'll teach you to stomp and roar and shout. That's what a giant is all about. I'll teach you to snore so loudly at night, people will run away in fright. I will teach you how to be a great big giant. Just like me, your friend, the giant. I'll be back a little. Animals. Ski. Raining. Your dear giant, sometimes clouds look like animals. I would like to ski in the clouds. Is it fun to live in the clouds when it is raining? Your pal, Sam. Dear Sam, it's no fun when it rains up here. The castle floods. My dog gets soaked. It takes a long time to dry off a giant dog. Your friend... The giant! I'll be back. Okay, people. Milk. <laughs> Neighbor. <laughs> Dear giant, if I were a giant, I would eat people. If I were a giant, I would drink milk. If I were a giant, you would be my neighbor. Roar! Sam. Dear Sam, being neighbors would be fun. You could borrow my gold hen anytime. You could listen to my gold harp sing. I'd even let you see my gold coins. Do you have any gold things I can play with? Your friend, the giant! I'll be back a Okay, mashed potatoes. Fly. Stormy. Dear Giant, sometimes clouds look like mashed potatoes. I would like to fly in the clouds. Is it fun to live in the clouds when it is stormy? Your friend, Sam. Dear Sam, I'm glad my house is made of stone when the storms begin to moan. The dark clouds tumble, twirl, and fly. A storm is fun up in the sky. We step inside and close the door. We build a fire and let it roar. We lock the windows, check them twice. A stormy day is very nice. Your friend. The giant! I'll be back a little. Okay, let's write to the giant. Hamburgers. Swimming pool. Breakfast. Since. Dear giant, if I were a giant, I would eat. Hamburgers. If I were a giant, I would drink swimming pools. If I were a giant, you would be my breakfast. Sincerely, Sam. 
Dear Sam, what you're asking doesn't sound great. I wouldn't want to be on your plate. Let me tell you how I feel. I will not be your morning meal. I'll tell you what to eat instead. Have some eggs with jam and bread. I wouldn't taste good anyway. And that is all I have to say. Your friend, the giant. Adios. Tall. Fleas. Scarecrow. You. Dear Giant's Wife, I think your husband is very tall. He should count fleas instead of gold. Maybe he could be a scarecrow. Your friend, Sam. Dear Sam, can a giant scare a crow? He can scare it with his toe. Can a giant scare an ant? Never tell him that he can't. Sincerely, the giant's wife. Adio. An elephant. Ladder. A visitor. Bobsled. A visitor could use love. Speedy snap. Dear Sam, if an elephant came to call, I'd have it wait out in the hall. I'd ask it to take off its hat and put its shoes out on the mat. Then. I'd let it come inside. All our rooms are very wide. I would not let it try the chairs. I would not let it go upstairs. Sincerely, the giant's wife. Adios. Greedy. Clouds. Telephone pole. La Dear Giant's Wife, I think your husband is very greedy. He should count clouds instead of gold. Maybe he could be a telephone pole. Love, Sam. Dear Sam, could he be a telephone pole? Someone would have to dig a hole. And put his huge feet in the earth, and cover them with rocks and dirt. He would hold the wires way up high; they would almost touch the sky, and he would never let them fall. So you could make a telephone call. Sincerely, the giant's wife. Adio. A dragon. Pogo stick. Sailboat. A. Dear giant's wife, would you let a dragon visit your castle? A visitor could use a pogo stick to get there. A visitor could use your shoe as a sailboat. Sam. Dear Sam, if a dragon came to visit, I would not send it away. As long as it could light our fire, I would tell it it could stay. I'd want one with a green tail and red horns on its head. I'd make a little cap for it. It could sleep under the bed. Sincerely. The giant's wife. I'll be back a little. Mean.
Magic beans. He basketball player. Dear Giant's wife, I think your husband is very mean. He should count magic beans instead of gold. Maybe he could be a basketball player. Rawr. Sam. Dear Sam, he might be a good basketball player. He could jump high. He could slam dunk. But there's one problem. He might eat the other players. Is that against the rules? Sincerely, the giant's wife. Adio. Okay, a mouse. Beanstalk. Sailboat. Bobsled. A visitor could use your shoe as sincere. Dear Giant's Wife, would you let a mouse visit your castle? A visitor could use a beanstalk to get there. A visitor could use your shoe as a bobsled. Sincerely, Sam. Dear Sam, if I saw a mouse, I would shout! I do my best to keep them out. With mice around, you cannot win. Mice never knock. They just come in. Sincerely, the giant's wife. Toodaloo! Okay, sleepy. Uh. Clouds Window washer Your dear giant's wife I think your husband is very sleepy He should count clouds instead of gold Maybe he could be a window washer Your friend Sam Dear Sam, could he wash windows? Yes! He could reach the top windows without a ladder. Right again! Sincerely, the giant's wife. Adio! Okay, let's write to the giant's wife, Jack's mother. Spaceship. <laughs> Bed. Dear Giant's Wife, would you let Jack's mother visit your castle? A visitor could use a spaceship to get there. A visitor could use your shoe as a bed. Rawr. Sam. <laughs> Dear Sam, of course I would let Jack's mother visit. She could tell me how Jack is doing. I really miss seeing Jack. Sincerely, the giant's wife. Adio. Okay, let's write to the giant's wife. Okay, let's write to Jack. Sneeze. Sing. Photograph. La Dear Jack, if you ever see a giant again, sneeze. If I saw a giant, I'd make him sing. Next time you see a beanstalk, you should photograph it. Love, Sam. <laughs> Dear Sam, the next time I see a beanstalk, I will get my camera. Quick! I will take a lot of pictures. Click, 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 click. I want to take a picture so that I can show what a magic beanstalk looks like when it grows and grows and grows. Your friend, Jack. Toodaloo! Plant them. 
on the moon. Said you, dear Jack. If you find more magic beans, plant them. I wonder if magic beans can grow on the moon. Were you sad that your mom threw away the beans? Your friend Sam. Dear Sam, when Mother threw my beans away, I was very sad. They were the only magic beans I had ever had. I wasn't sad for very long, only for one night. The next day, I woke up to find a beanstalk growing out of sight. Your friend. Jack. Adio. Okay, let's write to trade them. In your bed. <sighs> Happy. Your dear Jack. If you find more magic beans. Trade them. I wonder if magic beans can grow in your bed. Were you happy that your mom threw away the beans? Your pal, Sam. Dear Sam, was I happy, happy, happy when I saw the beans go flying? No, I was sad, sad, sad. I was almost crying. But when I saw the beanstalk, I almost gave a shout. I was happy, happy, happy that Mother had thrown the beans out. Your friend, Jack. Adio. Okay, let's run away. Ride a bike. Chop. Dear Jack, if you ever see a giant again, run away. If I saw a giant, I'd make him ride a bike. Next time you see a beanstalk, you should chop it. Sincerely, Sam. Dear Sam, the next time that I see a beanstalk, you bet that I will chop. I don't want to see another giant. Who lives up at the top? I do like exploring, but not up in the sky. You've already read my story, so you know the reason why. Your friend Jack. Toodaloo. Okay, eat them in cereal. Surprised? <gasps> Were you? Dear Jack, if you find more magic beans, eat them. I wonder if magic beans can grow in cereal. Were you surprised that your mom threw away the beans? Your friend, Sam. Dear Sam, yes, I was surprised when I showed Mother the beans. I just did not expect her to groan. And moan, and scream. She threw away the beans, but it turned out for the best. They landed in some lovely dirt, and you know the rest. Your friend Jack. Adio. Okay, let wave. Read to me. Ignore. You, dear Jack. If you ever see a giant again, wave. If I saw a giant, I'd make him read to me. Next time you see a beanstalk, you should ignore it. Your pal, Sam. Dear Sam, if I see a beanstalk so green and so tall. I will pretend I saw nothing at all. Yes, I'll ignore it. 
or at least I will try. But I'd rather climb it all the way to the sky. Your friend, Jack. I'll be back. Okay, run away. Sing! <laughs> Climb! From... Dear Sam, if I see a beanstalk growing up so high, I think that I will climb it right up to the sky. But if I see a giant stomping all around, I will run, run, run and chop the beanstalk down. Your friend, Jack. I'll be back. Okay, hide them. On the beach. Angry. Love. Dear Jack, if you find more magic beans, hide them. I wonder if magic beans can grow on the beach. Were you angry that your mom threw away the beans? Love, Sam. <laughs> Dear Sam, yes, I was angry. Mother didn't believe the beans were magic. But I knew I had made a good trade. And once I saw the beanstalk, I knew I was right. And so did my mother. Your friend, Jack. Toodaloo! Okay, let's write to Jack. Hide them. Gold. Do Sad. Tuba. S Dear Harp, do you like to sing songs about gold? I think you should sing sad songs. I think you should sing with a tuba. Sincerely, Sam. Dear Sam, I could sing about gold. It makes me think about popcorn. Popcorn makes a happy sound. Gold does too. Clink, clank, clunk. Your friend, the harp. Toodaloo! Rude. <laughs> Wash dishes. Happy. Dear Harp, did you think the giant was rude? At least he didn't ask you to wash dishes. Did you feel happy when Jack took you? Your pal, Sam. Dear Sam, yes, I felt happy when Jack took me. I did not like living in the castle. There was no one to play with. Jack brought me back to the village. It is nice to be home. Your friend, the harp. I'll be back. Spiders. Long. Piano. From Dear Harp, do you like to sing songs about spiders? Spiders? I think you should sing long songs. I think you should sing with a piano. From Sam. Dear Sam, I would like to sing about spiders. I like to sing about interesting things. And spiders are very interesting. They are creepy. They are crawly. And they spin Beautiful webs, your friend, the harp. Adios. Okay, let's write to the harp. Mean. <coughs> Lay an egg. <laughs> Scared. 
Dear Harp, did you think the giant was mean? At least he didn't ask you to lay an egg. Did you feel scared when Jack took you? Sincerely, Sam. Dear Sam, Who, me? Scared? Just because the giant is coming. Who, me? Scared? Just because Jack and I are running. Who, me? Scared? Just because the beanstalk is tall. Hey! We are safe now. I wasn't scared at all. Your friend, the harp. I'll be back. Okay, let's write to the harp. Dear harp. Sleepy. <sighs> Eat worms. At least he did. Silly. <laughs> did you? Sin Dear Harp, did you think the giant was sleepy? At least he didn't ask you to eat worms. Did you feel silly when Jack took you? Sincerely, Sam. Dear Sam, When Jack picked me up, I sang a note. When I sang that note, the giant awoke. When the giant awoke, Jack had to run. So I felt silly for what I had done. <laughs> Your friend, the harp. Toodaloo! Okay, let's write to the harp. Gold. Sad. Drum. I. Your. Dear Harp, do you like to sing songs about gold? I think you should sing sad songs. I think you should sing with a drum. Your friend, Sam. Dear Sam, I could sing about gold. It makes me think about popcorn. Popcorn makes a happy sound. Gold does too. Clink. Clank, clunk, your friend, the harp. I'll be back. Okay, tall. Brush his hair. Excited. Dear Harp, did you think the giant was tall? At least he didn't ask you to brush his hair. Did you feel excited when Jack took you? Roar! Sam. Dear Sam, I was so excited that I sang this song. Here comes the giant, go Jack, go. Will the giant catch us? No giant, no. Run across the clouds now, fly Jack, fly. Slide down the beanstalk, bye giant, bye. Your friend, the harp. Toodaloo. Okay, let's write to the harp. De beanstalks. Said Piano You Dear Harp, do you like to sing songs about beanstalks? I think you should sing sad songs. I think you should sing with a piano. Your friend Sam Dear Sam I would like to sing about beanstalks to sing a beanstalk song But I think it would be really neat If the beanstalk sang along It might seem really 
funny <laughs> to think that a beanstalk can sing. But if a beanstalk can grow right through the clouds, it can do almost anything. Your friend, the harp. Adio. Okay. Breakfast. Do you? Silly. Gong. You. Dear Harp, do you like to sing songs about breakfast? I think you should sing silly songs. I think you should sing with a gong. Your friend, Sam. Dear Sam, I'd like to sing a song about breakfast. I could sing about pancakes and toast. These are some of the things the giant likes to eat the most. The giant eats all kinds of food. He is very big, you know. And if you ate what the giant eats, I am sure that you would grow. Your friend, the harp. Adios. Okay, let's write to the harp. Okay, let's write again later. Click on one of these buttons. Okay, I know. Jack and the Beanstalk. Click on the character you want to tell the story. Hi, I'm Jack. Thanks for picking me. You'll never believe what I found when I climbed up and up and up the incredible Beanstalk. Click here if you want me to read the story. I'll read the story. My name is Jack. Do I have a story to tell? It's about how I found my village's missing treasures. Let me tell you what happened. It all started the day my mother told me to sell our cow. We were very poor and had no food, only milk. Then one day, our cow gave no milk. must sell the cow, said my mother. She said we needed money for food. <gasps> we have no money for food. Jack, you must sell the cow. Sell the cow? We need the money for food. I was sad because I would miss our cow. On the way to market, I met a farmer. I'll give you these magic beans for that cow, said the farmer. I have to sell my cow so we can have money for food. I'll give you these magic beans for that cow. He said they would grow to touch the sky. Magic beans? How are they magic? Plant these beans tonight, and in the morning they will touch the sky. I liked that idea. So, I gave him the cow and took the beans. It's a trade. I'll trade my cow 
for those magic beans. Mother, mother, look what I got. Magic beans. I had made a clever trade. Our cow had a good home, and we had magic beans. Look! Look! Mother, look! We need food, not magic beans. I thought my mother would be happy. But my mother was not happy. She threw the beans out the window and sent me to bed. That was a foolish thing to do. We needed food, not magic beans. Now please, go to your room. The next morning, I looked out my window and saw a huge beanstalk. I could not believe my eyes. The beanstalk did grow to touch the sky. The beans are magic. Trading them wasn't a foolish thing to do at all. I'd always wondered what it's like up there. Haven't you? Wow. I wonder how tall that beanstalk is. I began to climb the beanstalk. Here I go. Wow. Everything's huge. I climbed right up through the clouds and jumped off the beanstalk. Suddenly, I felt tiny. Everything around me was huge. Look at those huge flowers. I saw a huge castle. Who would live in such a place? I had to find out. Beware! I knocked on the castle door, and a huge woman opened it. I was hungry, so I asked the woman for breakfast. My husband eats little boys, she told me. I didn't want to find out about that. But then I heard footsteps, so I ran inside and hid in the oven. Uh, hello, ma'am. Go away! My husband eats little boys. He's coming. Quick, hide. A giant came into the room. Fee, fi, fo, fum. I smell the blood of an Englishman, he roared. There's no one here but us, said his wife. What a clever thing to say. The giant believed her. She told the giant to play with his gold toys. Fee-fi-fo-fum. I smell the blood of an Englishman. There's no one here but us. He 
Here, play with your gold toys. The giant really loved gold. He counted his gold coins. One, two, three! All for me! He said. One, two, three! All for me! He told the hen to lay a golden egg. Lay! He told the golden harp to sing. Then he fell asleep. I'm tired. Sing me to sleep. <laughs> Gold was taken from my village. I peeked out of the oven and saw the gold. It was the gold from my village. I had to get it back. So I jumped out of the oven and took the gold. I ran out of the castle, jumped on the beanstalk, and climbed down as fast as I could. I gave the gold to the people of the village. They were happy. Yay! But I knew my work was not done. The next day I said, I'm going back up for more. Be careful, said my mother. I'm very careful around giants. And up and up. And up I went. I'm going back up for more. Be careful. I knocked on the castle door. The huge woman opened it. I was hungry again, so I asked for breakfast. She told me the giant was angry because his gold was gone. I didn't want to meet an angry giant. But then I heard footsteps, so I ran and hid. May I please? Not today. He's coming. Quick, hide. <laughs> The giant came into the room. Fee, fi, fo, fum. I smell the blood of an Englishman, he roared. There's no one here but us, said his wife. I'm glad she said that. Fee, fi, fo, fum. I smell the blood of an Englishman. There's no one here but us. <sighs> he told his hen to lay and his harp to sing. Lay, hen! Then he fell asleep. Sing me to sleep. <sighs> That's our hen. That hen was taken from my village. 
<sighs> the hen was from my village. I had to get her back. I picked up the hen and she gave a squawk. I looked at the giant. He was still sleeping. <laughs> So, I ran out of the castle, jumped on the beanstalk, and climbed down as fast as I could. Here's the hen the giant took from us. Yay! I gave the hen to the people of the village. They were happy. Yay! But I knew my work was still not done. The next day I said, I'm going back up for more. Please be careful, said my mother. I'm always careful, especially around giants. And up and up and up I went. I'm going back up for more. I knocked on the castle door again. The huge woman opened it. I was still hungry, so I asked for breakfast. She told me the giant was very angry because his hen was gone. I hoped the angry giant was asleep. But then I heard footsteps, so I ran and hid. May I please? Not today! He's coming! Quick! Hide! <coughs> the giant came into the room. Fum! I smell the blood of an Englishman! He roared. There's no one here but us, said his wife. The giant must have been sleepy because he believed her again. Fee, fi, fo, fum! I smell the blood of an Englishman. There's no one here but us. <sighs> he told the harp to sing and he fell asleep. Sing me to sleep. <sighs> That's our harp. That harp was taken from my village. <laughs> the harp was from my village. If I could get it back, the people of the village would have all of their treasures. I picked up the harp, and it sang. I looked at the giant. He was awake! I knew I smelled, boy! He roared and ran after me. <coughs> I knew I smelled, boy!
I jumped on the beanstalk. I told myself, go, 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 go. The giant was right behind me. Mother, mother, get my axe, I cried. Mother, mother, get my axe. I jumped off the beanstalk and picked up the axe. Whack! Whack! went the axe. The giant must have seen what I was doing. He climbed back up the beanstalk as fast as he could. That giant's not going to get us now. Whack! Whack! The beanstalk snapped. The giant had already jumped off. That boy is too smart for me, he said. I hoped he would never come back. I'm so proud of you, said my mother. I was happy, but I was also very hungry. For three days. I had not eaten breakfast. Jack, I'm so proud of you. Uh, thanks, Mother. But can I have some breakfast? All the people in the village had a feast. We danced to the songs of the golden harp. The people gave me some gold coins. Mother and I were never hungry again. And to think it was all because of a few magic beans. And me. I knew they were magic beans all along. What a celebration, and it's in honor of me. on one of these buttons to play an activity. Okay! Let's match and order things from the story. Come to Not again! Oh, my story map is a mess! You can help Reader Rabbit. Click on Story Match to match words and pictures. Click on Story Order to put events in the right order. Okay, let's put everything in order. The people of the village had a feast. The people of the village had a feast. The people of the village had a feast. Jack and his mother were never hungry again. Jack and his whack, whack. The beanstalk snapped. The Jack looked out his window. Jack looked out his window. Whack! Whack! The beanstalk snapped. Double match! Thanks! Now everything is in order, so I can read my story map. Time for a party! <laughs> Click on me, and you can play the map game again. All right! Come to... Not again! Oh, my story map is a mess! 
Jack gave the coins to the people of the village. The cow gave no milk. The cow gave no milk. The cow gave no milk. Jack traded the cow for magic beans. Jack took the bags of gold. Jack gave the coins to the people of the village. Jack gave the coins to the people of the village. Yeah! Yeah! The giant only had his hen and harp to play with. Wow! Double match! All right! Now everything is in order, so I can read my story map. Time for a party! Click on me and you can play again. Click on one of these buttons. Okay, I know. You can help. Do you want to stop playing? Bye-bye!